first critical question, YouTube watchers, did you see Barbenheimer this weekend? It was a match that maybe was too hot to handle. Hi, <laughs> this is Lindy Kaiser with clearancejobs.com. I did not see the Barbenheimer this weekend and those in my ecosystem know that I was really sad about it. I had limited babysitting time. I had to prioritize. I did not have the seven hours to invest. So obviously I only saw the Barbie movie. I did not make it to Oppenheimer, but I've had a lot of questions uh, come up. I have had conversations with friends who have seen the film talking about, they knew I was gonna geek out on this, the security clearance hearing portion or interviews that were a part of the movie. Um, no spoilers here, but go, it goes back and forth when the time that Oppenheimer was making the atomic bomb and also the period where he lost his security clearance no, that's not a spoiler because we've already written about it over at clearancejobs.com. I'll link in the show notes here, but we had an article previously that kind of teased to a premise of the movie. As a part of the Red Scare, actually Oppenheimer lost his security clearance eligibility and there were some steamy sex scenes in the Oppenheimer movie, which actually was significant. First time Chris Nolan has had those in one of his films, they have said, not a, not a film person, so I don't know these things. This is just what my friends in the internet tell me, um, and had some, again, steamy sex scenes, which might be surprising for a film about nuclear bombs and the security clearance process. And again, a part of that kind of played into, again, the hearing portion of it. So it brings up what is always a hot topic over at clearancejobs.com, which is actually, can my sex life become a part of a security clearance background investigation? By and large, no. I mean, I get this question from a lot of folks and most of the people who are concerned about it do not need to worry. Your standard SF-86 application, the average security clearance holder and applicant is not gonna have any questions come up about their sex life. Again, if you come under scrutiny, if you're on the face of a denial or rev revocation, as Oppenheimer was, um, they will certainly start digging up dirt and look for things. Again, we have to look at the two sides of it, looking at back at what happened during a 1950s Red Scare era um, analysis of the process is very different than the process we have today. Um, contractors in particular have more due process um, opportunities within the security clearance process. You're not potentially gonna see things come up the same the way they did then. But that said, if you do have an affair, if you have something that could be grounds for blackmail or have some skeletons in your closet, those could come up. And we also have the two sides of it too. Your standard SF-86 application, the average person, the vast majority of security clearance holders and applicants who are going for a DOD, DHS, another agency security clearance, nothing is gonna come up that digs into that kind of detail. If you're applying with an IC agency, on the other hand, if you're applying for a very specific position, suitability for that position could dig, dig in deeper. You could get some questions, some questionnaires. If you're undergoing a polygraph, there could be some questions around um, pornography use, uh, again, sexual behavior, affairs, things could come up in the course of that investigation. So it's good to know um, what's in your past. And again, not be trying to hide anything is a big thing. We've covered this in so many ways at Clearance Jobs, I can't even keep track. Furries, fetishes, all of that stuff. Again, if you have a hobby or an interest you're not trying to hide, not an issue. If you have something that you've gone to lengths to hide or have not revealed to a spouse, um, have not told people, that's a different story. So I'm glad I had an excuse to talk about this. Don't give me any spoilers in the comments. I'm going to go see Oppenheimer next weekend. I'm hoping I can carve out the three hours because I am a geek for this stuff. It is not very often that our national security, um, the security clearance process is in a major motion picture. So I'm gonna check it out. But for now, I can say, I mean, five stars for the Barbie movie. No regrets over here. No steamy sex scenes though. So if that's what you're going for, you're gonna have to check out Oppenheimer. Um, so for, for more on the security clearance process, for more on sexual behavior in your security clearance, and for nothing at all about Barbies, um, you can visit us over at clearancejobs.com.